go. This is it. I am super excited for this. Uh, this is a thing that we've been talking about doing for a long time. We're going to do. This is not going to be quite an analysis um, of the match as much as a team that's really interested me this season is Seoul because on paper they have just about everything. You have your superstar main tank in Fissure. You have um, Michelle who who they picked up who's been playing a really good off tank. You got Fleta carry on the DPS. You got Munchkin another great DPS. You got Jay Hong the legendary support. Um, and then you have Jexy, um, who was supposed to come in and be a uh, really, really good Lucio, really good shot caller. Um, and this is a team that has really, really failed to call us. Um, they have lost matches that they really shouldn't have on paper. And that's kind of what I'm going to be looking at today. So we're going to be watching the whole, essentially the whole match between Seoul and Boston. Um, this was, of course, a couple weeks ago. But I think it's a really good um kind of template for seeing kind of where Sola has struggled because really to me it doesn't seem like when I've been watching them live it doesn't really seem like they have a like a person or two that's just like feeding um it seems to be more of a core team issue so that we're going to be trying to um look and see what's going on here unfortunately um since it's not live we can't go command center I do have the command center but we can't use it right now so um maybe tomorrow or the next day um, I will try to do a live um, kind of reaction and uh, analysis of one of the matches and then we can use the command center, we can check the different players um, so we can really focus on one. Um, so here we'll just use the full, the full uh, match of course. So I um, hope you guys are excited for this. Um, let me know what you think about this kind of uh, format. Um, and I think without further ado we're going to jump into it. So, we're on Nepal, we are on Sanctum, and um, there isn't going to be any volume for this, because I don't want to hear um, myself and the casters, um, I think that will be really disorienting to me and you guys, um, so we're going to start out on this, uh, let me know if you what you think of that as well, um, also if the face cam is in the way, let me know, I tried to make it a bit smaller and throw it off to the side, but anyway, we're going to jump right into it, like I said, it's Nepal. Both teams are starting out with Winston Goats, um, which is decently standard for control maps. Um, so let's see, let's see what what goes down. So Winston Goats, obviously very important to um, get the better engage with your Winston first. Um, we'll see. It looks like Fusions coming up on the flank here. All right, so both teams seeing each other. They're going to engage. They're going to start the poke war. All right, Fusions goes down, 30 health, 30 health, okay. There's the first thing that we need to look at. So Fusions jumps in, he kind of walks up, and he gets stunned up, and he goes down to 30 HP. Now, um, I'm going to try to rewind it just a little, little bit. We'll go back, because um, I wanted to see exactly when the Discord gets on Fusions. So he has the Harmony Orb on him right now. And okay, right there. And they just they can't quite get the follow up. So that's gonna be that's one thing. Um, target target priority, of course, is extremely important in goats. Um, so fusion gets out, and now if we pause it again right here, look at the health. So Boston, they're basically all healthy because Soul didn't follow up on that poke, and they got aggressive. They're losing a lot of their HP. Look at Fissure. He's got uh, what is that? 80 HP. It looks like. Uh, Michelle's about half, and then Munchkin has lost a little bit as well. Um, also, if we look at the um, alts a little bit, they're pretty pretty even at this point. Um, a couple of Dynasty guys are ahead, a couple of Uprising guys are ahead. So um, that is the main thing. So Boston, by focusing up fusions really well with the heals, they are able to um, keep him alive, and that means that they're going to be um, starting to win the poke war. So let's keep, let's keep playing it. Okay, 
It's a it's, that's a really nice rotation from Boston too because because they got aggressive and because uh, Fisher had to go um, because Fisher went down uh, really low that they had to back off so then Boston can just rotate straight to the point and okay there goes Fisher okay so we see in that situation it looked like Fisher was kind of in without his team um, you see the Lucio over here on the right looks like he's probably playing for a boop. Um, but you have the Zarya up there, and you have the Luz or the uh, Zen. So he's probably trying to eliminate the Zenyatta here, um, maybe trying to get a boop on him. But honestly, I think you got, I think he's got to be with his team here. Um, then you get your speed boost. Maybe you can get um, uh, Fissure out instead of him dying, um, and then you can go contest because you see Kellix. That's a very popular spot over here for Lucios. Um, they like to ride around there, and then they can drop down for boops. Um, and they can also affect a couple of their teammates on the point with with speed or healing. So that's a really nice spot for Lucio to be. I just I, I don't see what value Jexy is providing to his team here unless he unless he's able to assassinate Aim God or Color Hex. But it's that's a pretty tough ask. Um, Fusions did also go down. He, you see, he got stunned up, discorded, and taken out by Munchkin. Um, but also, if you look at the point. Fleta and Michelle are taking some pretty hefty damage, so we're gonna have to see how this plays out. Yep, good focus fire onto uh, Fleta takes him out right there, and then Sol they have to retreat. There's nothing they can do. So there, uh, there I'm saying it's got to be. There's a disconnect between Fissure and Jexy there because they didn't, they didn't go in together. Jexy isn't using his area of effect, which is Lucio's thing, on any of his teammates. No composition switches. Now a bunch of the alts are coming up. Um, again, Fusions dives in, gets really low. They come in with the grab on Boston's side. Doesn't pick anyone up. Counter grab. That's a nice counter grab, but there's yep no follow-up damage there. Uh, Michelle did not have his bomb, and that kind of kills de the dynasty here. Uh, sound barriers are out. A couple more alts coming up. That's a that's a really nice bomb. Um, a lot it creates a ton of space you you saw a couple of the players uh, retreat to that corner over there and then the other ones have to be since the bombs coming in right about here the rest of the team is going to have to loop around so that is a, that's an absolutely massive bomb um, soul should looking at the health bars soul should definitely be able to flip this now they got a couple they have blase and color hex kind of pinned over here yep they're gonna go down Nice contest by whoever is on the point for Boston. Okay, it was a note. That's a nice contest. That gives him a little bit extra percentage. So Boston gets up to 69 percentage here. That is a very, very good start for them. Um, looking at alt economies, um, Souls coming up on. They have rally and they're coming up on trance. Um, Boston has beat, um, and they're getting pretty close to. Yep, you see the Winston bar go way up. It's an absolutely massive pick by Aim God. Um, that it might it might just be a really nice shot by him um or jay hong is out of position there of course you lose that they're just gonna have to back off yeah they lose they lose the trance they don't even contest the point and it's an easy flip back for boston so soul they now should have the alt advantage because um uprising blew their winston alt and their uh, lucio alt i guess not blue but they used them um, but then you, you look at it they only have two and boston's coming up on a bunch that's a really nice grab and it gets the double, and that's essentially the round right there. So, Jay Hong going down in that fight really just killed um, Dynasty there. Um, but it was really, a, it seems like in this round, it was a disconnect between the um, supports and uh, Fissure, which really, it's really created the lead for Boston. Because when you get up uh, like about 69% what they had, um, then you have a huge advantage in those kind of situations. Um, it was a really nice combo uh, by Color Hex and Note there. Note is such an underrated player. There he is right there. Um, he's such a good player. One of the best Divas in the league for sure. Kellex has been playing a bit more, which is interesting. Um, because uh, Alamel, or their, one of their new signings, um, who was a standout for Brazil in this year's World Cup, um, he did not. He played like the first match, or like the first two matches, and then ever since it's been all Kellex. So going over to Shrine here, um, obviously very different. Both teams are going to come out with Reinhardt, um, which makes a lot more sense because you have a very tight point, uh, very closed off spaces. Um, 
I would kind of expect to see a Sombra here. Sombra is very popular on this map. Um, yeah, so I'm surprised not to see it. All right, so it's a nice fair strike from Fusions. Look at, just look at the poke battle. Look at the poke battle. Soul is losing all of these poke battles. So Fissure gets really low. He starts panicking. You see he's, um, he's like down on the screen past Fleta. So he's over there. Munchkin's just kind of hanging out over here now. Um, looks like Michelle is starting to head over. You see the little outline of the diva. She's starting to head over there. And look who has point presence. Boston just has full point presence here. Um, uh, looking at the Zen um, alt economies, because those are always important. It looks like Aim God is a little bit behind Jay Hong at this point. Um, Fusions, though, is at 37. Um, so we'll see if that becomes a factor here. So yeah, all right. So Fissure coming back up. So they, they've regrouped. Now they're just going to wade into him. Oh, Fusion! Oh, Fissure gets he he gets sucked down the stairs. They do okay. That was a really nice play by Jexy. He's able to spin him back out, but Jay Hong was was uh, too far left of the point, and he's going to get taken down. And that's where it all kind of spirals. Um, no Discord there, even though they're able to take out Fusions. It doesn't matter. They don't have the health, and Boston's going to get off to a good start in this one too. So that one it, it was more just positioning. Um, Boston did a really good job of just getting straight to point. Um, they got some a couple of nice fire strikes by Fusions, really turned the poke battle in the favor of Boston. And then Seoul just when they re-engaged, they just didn't quite have the the health to contest them. Jaehan going low again. Aim God is really really good at the long ranges. Um, one honestly one of the under more underrated Zens in the league. Um, they had Neko last year, uh, Boston did, who was really good, but uh, Aim God has, and he's still really good, but Aim God has really stepped it up. All right, so, yep, there it is. Bomb, grab, bomb combo. That clears him up. Um, I mean, there isn't much to say about those. Sometimes that just happens, and there's nothing you can really do about it if you're soul. Um, maybe bubble management by Fleta. Um, that is one thing I've heard a lot. Um, one of the issues here is Fleta's bubble timing and just overall play is a bit too uh, passive. Um, I, I can kind of see that. He's not really with Fissure so much. It seems like both of the tanks are kind of a ways back from Fissure. They do have a grab uh, bomb combo here. Well, they're about to. But if, yeah, Fissure just gets stuns up and kill the sound barriers. Both of them coming in. But that's, that's late by Jexy. And that looked dysfunctional. I mean, you see, Fissure kind of went in, and the team kind of stayed back. He, he gets stunned. He gets stunned up and just absolutely melted. And Soul blows all three of their support alts there. Well, the, uh, Jay Hung's was used the fight before, but they blow their other two support alts. They have none. Boston doesn't have a whole lot either. Um, it's going to be up to this fight. is going to be up to Color Hex if he can get his um, grab up. He's 70% and he's high energy, so he should he should be able to do that. All right, so Boston, they take the initiative. It's a nice slam. Takes the diva out of the equation. They're go lots of them are going low. Fissure, oh my goodness, it's a massive bomb for Michelle. So I don't know why Fissure decided to charge there. He was low health. Um, I feel like you just hold your shield up there and your team might help you. Um, but yeah, that's a huge, huge combo um, from Fleta and Michelle for the... Triple and the DMAC. Um, alt economy wise, you got Soul coming up on another couple alts. Um, but Boston is about to have their combo. Um, they don't have any support alts. But um, we'll see how, how Dynasty wants to play this. Um, on the. Pause it real quick. On their first. Uh, the last fight, Boston, um, you saw them speed boost into Soul. They really wanted to take the initiative. Probably because they knew that Soul wasn't going to have their support alts. Um. I think that's a fine idea, but um, you saw Fissure get the Shatter down and knock down Note, which you lose a lot of your damage mitigation there, and it just kind of threw Boston out of whack. So that was a nice play by him there. Um, again, it just seems like Soul, just as a team, their communication isn't quite there. Um, you see Fleta and Fissure are close to each other right now. That's good. Um, the Diva's sitting back a little bit, kind of protecting the back line, it seems. Um, I don't mind this positioning. Maybe move up a little bit because you want, obviously want to get the most out of her blasters. Um, he's got a couple cooldowns um, that aren't quite there yet. And like I said, Boston's got that big combo, so we'll see how Dynasty wants to kind of combat this. They will have a trance, but if they get a good bomb, obviously it can still wreck your team. 
okay, they're playing really passively. They're going to play the pull. I think that makes sense. Um, it's harder to get a good grab in. They still do get a good grab in. The bomb does not get anything, though. That's nice by Fleta, saving his bubbles um, and nice positioning. And then it's good target selection. They get that Discord onto Fusions and take him down. That'll, that'll wrap this fight up. So that was very nice by Soul. They kind of um, they kind of fell back and let Boston come to them. And because Boston didn't have those support alts up, um, Soul was able to just kind of trance, shield up through that bomb combo, and then what does Boston have? That combo was the only were the only alts they had. So Soul's gonna win that fight. But Boston is now coming up on four ultimates. Now um, well, maybe Lucio will be a little ways away. Oh, Kellex almost got deleted by Jay Hong there. Um, Soul will have beat very soon. Yep, Kellex getting his ult, so huge advantage for Boston here. You'd think they'd win this. Um, Soul's doing the same thing. They're playing around the pillar, trying to mitigate some of that poke damage. Which, honestly, I like this play. Um, they're also at a slight... Oh, uh, Shatter doesn't get anything there. Uh, Flood is getting really low. Okay, they do drop the sound barrier. That's really nice. And, oh my god, that was massive. They Looks like they got booped into that. Um, that'll win Soul the rounds. This was actually a very masterful, um, job of playing Goats by Soul after they retook that point. I mean, they were down 99-0, and they, uh, they, they played it really, really well. Um, that's what you want to do when you're playing Goats and you're at an alt disadvantage. You just kind of want to, you want to delay the fight as long as possible, and then, um, try to get your alts up. And then um, do what you can with that once the fight actually starts. I feel like Boston was probably a little bit scared to uh, engage. Very, um, like, have a hard engage. Like, speed, like, legitimately amp speed boost in. Because the first fight they lost, they tried to do that. And they got wrecked. Um, and then they... It seemed like maybe Fusion's got a little bit gun shy because he got burned down last time they did that. So they were like, all right, let's slow roll it. Let's just hit him with the combo. But then the combo doesn't work. And oh, yeah, here's the replay. Does he... Yep, he gets the boop. That is absolutely massive. Gets them all in the air, out of position, and the bomb wipes them out. So that was a, that was a good bounce back. Um, pretty, pretty solid stats for Jexy there. Um, 17 barriers. I assume that was in three casts. So that's averaging almost just under six. So that is very good. Unless he got four. Nah, I don't think he would have gotten four casts up. Lucio's alt isn't super fast charging. All right, so both teams going doing the same thing. Again, it's going to be poke battle. Um, they're both... Oh, nope, they faked out going to the point. Oh, they get... Okay, so Soul gets super aggressive here. Oh, but they trade out one for one. Fusions goes down. Oh, but Soul's going to lose that. Wow. It looked like they had the advantage there. It's kind of hard to tell from this. Um, we're going to try to go back just a little bit and see where it really went down for them. Because we see Jexy's... They, so they see Blase is down on the... Look at him on the low ground right here. Kellex is here, but that doesn't really matter. So Fusions and Color Hex are up here. Um, assuming that Bubbles are down, um, Blase is a great target right here because he's half health. He's kind of isolated from the team. Like I said, if Kellex might be able to boop you away, but that's all he can do. Um, and then on Soul side, you see Fleta taking a bit of damage here. Um, it's interesting because you see Fusions right here. Where's Fissure? That's what I would really like to know. See if we can... Okay, so he's... Yeah, so he's down on the low ground. They collapse onto Blase, but then they don't really realize that all of Boston can converge on them right there. So you, you see um, Flood had lost some health. Fissure, um, since he's dropping down there, he's going to take fire. He's going to take uh, probably a fire strike. He's going to take fire from Color Hex. He's going to get the Discord and get hit by Aim God. So he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. Um, it, it looks like that right there is uh, Munchkin. Um, so he's going to be kind of the key factor in seeing if they can keep Fissure alive. Uh, but you just see, you see the healths. Yeah, th there's there's uh, Munchkin going down early, and then there's nothing you can do there. You're just going to get cleaned up. So I think that's probably a bit of overaggression on Soul's side. Um, that's a... It's a situation where they saw a kill, and they went for it, but 
in going for it, they didn't really understand what that was going to do to their positioning. Um, and Fleta had already taken like 120 damage there, and then Fissure got mowed down. So I would like to know where Fleta's bubbles went. That's a case where I'd go to Fleta's perspective and see if he used those early on and didn't get value from them. All right, so Soul's going to speed boost in. Jehong gets taken down really low again. So they're going to have to delay a little bit. And then they just kind of get stagnated. Um, Boston's going to say, okay, this is fine. We're winning the poke battle. Boston's pretty consistently winning this poke battle. I think that was a, definitely a key in this matchup. Color Hex is beating Flutter by 20%. Um, they're going to throw out an aggressive bomb, and that's really nice. They're able to kind of um, separate Soul. And then that bomb is able to pick up a kill because they're not quite together to get their bubbles in order. Flutter does a really nice job of picking up a couple kills there. Um, Soul should win this. They're way more healthy. Yeah, it looks like they will clean up. So, again, it looks like some overaggression from Boston this time. Um, they do get up to 61 already, but Soul now has alt advantage. Um, so they should be able to hold this for a while. Flitta obviously retains that energy um, for the criticisms he's got. At least he's playing well in this scenario. All right, so Boston fakes them out. They speed to point. Oh, and they have point control. Soul and, and Soul took poke damage. Fleta and Michelle. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad for Soul. Uh, shower comes down. That's nice. And locks down two. Sound barrier is also good. Um, they're throwing in all of their alts for the combo. They do get color hex, so they should be able to flip this. That's a nice charge from Fusions, though. Oh, it's a really nice shatter from Fusions. That might, that might turn it. It does turn it. Wow. So that's a massive carry by Fusions. Um, he shielded everyone except for Color Hex in throughout like those four ultimates. Uh, Soul, uh, no, no, with Michelle gone, they can't do it. Oh, that's an interesting grab <laughs> coming out from Fleta. Um, they must be really confident they can win this fight. And they actually might. Aim guy going low. Fusions is back. Fissure is back. Oh, yeah. All right, so Soul will be able to win this. That's good because they invested pretty much everything and have no time left. Um, that that is a good that was a good shot calling. Um, that was a good job by their shot caller because Soul threw in like pretty much all of their alts there, um, but so did Boston. So since Boston won the fight, but it was really sloppy, um, Soul was able to get back pretty quick, and. Um, Pretty much, Boston had control, and they had a couple more people up than Soul. But Fleta sees the opportunity to grab and get an easy kill onto Kellex, so he takes that kill on Kellex. The Boston no longer has speed um, to engage in a fight, and it kind of limits them. Meanwhile, Soul, all of their members that are dead are coming back, so all Soul has to do is play back like they did behind the point. They get that kill. Uh, the, uh, the rest of their guys come back, and all of a sudden, boom, there's another team fight. But wait, Boston doesn't have their Lucio. So that was a really nice job of calling a re-engage. Um, it, was, it wasn't a clean disengage because you still saw uh, Soul on the point. But it was a good job of picking a good time to get aggressive and re-engage. So we'll see what happens from here. Soul doing pretty decent on economy. They're pretty much the same. Um... Boston's in a little bit better shape because they have their they have their rally. Soul does not, but Soul's a lot closer to grab, so that is um, important. Boston, if you see, Diva's at 28, Zarya's at 49 and, and growing. Oh, that's a great stun. They just drop on the drop down on them, and I actually I actually do like that trance. Um, a couple guys got low, and they could have possibly turned that. So I think I think you have to use that trance there. Um, otherwise, you you might just lose that fight, and if you lose that fight, you're done. That being said, you do see losing that, and you're also only 57% to your sound barrier. Um, Boston is coming up on that grab, so you're going to have to find a different way to mitigate that grab. Where, um, whether you want to grab first, even though I'm sure they understand that. Aim God has his ultimate, so that's probably not um, very optimal. 
um, they do have they do have that combo so maybe they just go aggressive go straight for the combo and just wipe them out um, or maybe you play for you get grabbed and then you you've already rallied so you get a little bit beefier and then you try to have fissure hit a big shatter um, otherwise you're gonna be in a lot of trouble in this fight so we'll see what they we'll see what they do see if they try to play a little I would I would go aggressive here if I was them. I would just take this fight. You have um you have offensive ultimates, so just hit them with them as much as you can because you don't have the defensive capabilities that they do. So you have alt advantage. Hit them as hard as you can. See see they just kind of back off. They're not grabbing. They're not doing anything. Here comes the grab. Here comes the combo. Does it do anything? Uh, no, it does not. See that's that's it. Soul can't win this now. There's no way. Yeah. They waited a little too long. They let Boston get um, a couple more alts built up, so then they were able to hit the they were able to hit the um, trance, and then they also had the um, the sound barrier right after that. So, like I said, when when the when the two teams saw each other up top, if I'm Soul, I'm just literally diving at them. Honestly, since they're at ninety, they were coming up on ninety nine. Oh, rip Fissure. Um, you probably wouldn't have even been able to... Boston might not have even been able to touch. You grab them out in that open area. Um, also in that open area, as long as you burn through their bubbles, they can't do anything about your grab. Here, let me, let me see if I can go back and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. No, a little bit. Not quite far enough. Not quite far enough. Oh, this, is a, this was a long fight. Alright, right here, right here. So you, this is, is here's Boston. They're all rotating. Um, so Soul's at 88. So you can't grab him and have him not touch. But I don't under. Look at Fissure. He's dropping down. All of Soul's gonna drop down now. I don't know why they do this. Yeah, why would you do that? They just gave Boston the positioning. And now, now you're at 94. If I'm Fleta, I'm. I'm fucking yeeting my grab right there. All right, for a couple reasons. Note's probably not going to notice it. Maybe he reacts in time because it's a longer grab and gets it. But if he doesn't, you've got their whole team right there, and they they might not be able to touch, and you can get your entire combo into them, and all they have for it is the trance. So they pop their trance. You put everything into them. You should probably be able to break their bubbles by the time that your, that your diva bomb gets in there. And you kind of thrown them back on their heels, but instead they they just kind of walk up. They let Boston got, get right onto the point, and that's where it all goes wrong for him. Because like you see, you see, they wait, and then now he's gonna throw out the grab. But Boston, like Boston's ready. They're already set up. They get a nice shatter onto Jay Hong, and then look at how split. Look at how split they are now. You got Jay Hong low. He's probably just trying to stay alive. He's probably fucking terrified. Fleta and Fissure are both half. Fissure is discorded. Like, they're done. And the, the, and they've blown their alts. And Boston's just kind of uh, melding together on the point. Blase is the only one in real danger. So. That's where, that's where I would love to see more aggression from, from uh, Dynasty. Impose your will. Impose your will on your on your on the enemies. Like honestly. All right. So let's get to the second map. Hopefully we don't have to buffer for too long. Uh, let's see. Should probably get to about the start of it. All right. So the second one is Numbani. Um. Also, yeah, I, I'm I'm also surprised that on Shrine, um, there was no there was no Sombra. Numbani, another one I I like Sombra for this one. In Stage Three last year, when Sombra became um, very very like meta um, for for her little bit of uh, glory, um, she was crazy on this map. I remember Dante having a fucking absolutely insane game against the Gladiators. So, 
Um, one thing to note immediately in this, they're both playing 3-3. Three, three. Um, so, no huge surprise there. It actually is kind of surprising, though. A lot of times you see a Winston, um, especially in the defense. A lot of teams like to play a bit back. You have your Winston jump up. He zaps like five, six people at once. He gets a bunch of all charge. Um, he jumps down. He gets your bubble. Um, but again, this is a situation where um, I'm cool with playing Ryan. Um, both people playing Ryan. Um, Winston is pretty much kind of just a preference for people. But um, defender's advantage. One of the big advantages for defenders is high ground. And Soul, they just give it up. They give up this high ground and... I don't, I don't love their positioning here. You see, Jae Hong has been abandoned up top. Let's actually see if we can go back a little bit. I missed, I missed the start of this fight a little bit, um, just in terms of like seeing where, seeing where exactly people went at the beginning. So yeah, so Seoul's sitting up top. They're all sitting up top. Um, uh, Michelle is across the way. Um, okay, no, she, she's over here now. So I don't, I, I would, I don't really like when she goes around the way. All right, so Boston, they fake like they're going up top, and then they're going to go quickly um, towards the point. So then Floyd and Munch can drop down immediately. So then Fish is like, okay, uh, crap, I have to come down now. Jexy comes up, comes down as well. Um, you see Jay Hong putting a damage from up top. Then you also see um, Michelle jump to the high ground right over here. So they're going to get damage coming in from here, here, here. That's nice um, in terms of putting in a lot of damage. But Jae Hong is very, very squishy up here. Um, he, You can see he does not have an armor pack. Uh, Munchkin has to save that for when Fissure gets burned um, or sometimes if uh, Michelle or Fleta get burned, but mostly for Fissure. Um, so then you see Boston. They are obviously all together. Fusion's uh, playing a little aggressive. Um, not the end of the world at all because he's got his Zarya right here. He's got his Brig right here. Um, so we'll see how this fight kind of devolves. So then Note, great move by Note. He pops on Jae Hong, and he's dead. Jae Hong's just dead. Like, you can see uh, Soul went over there to try to help him. It doesn't matter. A good diva, she smacks him. We'll, we need to go back and watch how, how fast he dies. Because he just he just melted. And that's, like, it's not, it's not surprising. That's what good, that's what good divas do. So... They come down. Fissure gets booped to fucking uh, the sky. So then note, dead. Like, that. that's it. That's it. And then Fissure is low because everybody started, look at Fleta Munchkin. They go up top. They, they start to go that way. They're like, oh, crap, our, our Zen's dying. Their Ryan dies right here. And Michelle's trying to help him, but there's only so much she can do. Um, they do trade out a couple of supports, so that is good, like, focus fire from um from a couple of people over here but if you see the uh blase and kellex are down um of course everyone's important in goats but if you're telling me that the enemy team is going to lose their rhine and their zen and my team's going to lose my zen uh my lucio and my uh, brig i'll say okay i'll take that i'll take that trade all day so we'll see if boston does uh follow through with this yeah michelle nothing on her mech she goes down and the rest of them just die so that that positioning is just terrible um i think that if you want to do that you need to have you need to have michelle up top um where jay hong is or at least very close to him not on the other side because then maybe that way she can eat damage from note when she when he tries to assassinate jay hong and then jay hong can get the discord in and start melting him down um but because otherwise like that's just going to happen. Your Zen is going to insta-die. And when your Zen insta-dies in fights, even when you pick up a couple kills like they do, you're just not going to win that fight often. So Soul backs off now. Um, Color Hex getting aggressive here. I think that's a good idea. Um, he jumps back because of the damage. Nice eat by Michelle. Um, kind of a stupid grab by Color Hex there. Kind of predictable. Not sure quite why he did that. So then Soul uh, gets aggressive. Um, that's smart. Honestly, I would have liked to see them push into their spawn there. What can they do? You're winning the poke fight. You know they can't grab you. You saw how how low Fusions was. Get aggressive. See now they get now they get funnel hold in there. Okay, that doesn't it doesn't hurt them with the diva bomb. But it's times like this where like Soul just they just need to get aggressive. You just need to. A lot of goats is you pick your spots and then you assert your fucking dominance. 
and they're not they're not doing that. So then it's just poke, poke, poke. Fleta gets a solid grab in. Um, they get the combo, but it's a great barrier from color or from uh, Kellex. It's that's a pretty nice shatter from Jay or Fisher, but at the same time, you know your Zarya is kind of going back for health. Your Diva just got her mech back. We're, there's not going to be any follow up. Um, it's a nice job by Jay Hong. That's a that's a better grab by Color Hex. Still not great. Okay, so that's really nice. That's really nice. They, you saw Boston chilling. Some of them are chilling by the payload. Um, Kellex is all the fucking way over there. Um, and then some of Boston went down to that mega health pack for some reason. And Soul identified this, whoever identified it, whether it was Fisher, Jexy, whoever it was, it was a good job of saying, hey, look, we got a couple of them over here. Speed boost into them. We, you know they don't have their support alts. They just wreck them. They just absolutely smash them. It's like Jexy gets a boop. Um, or maybe, maybe it's just a, maybe it's just a not environmental boop just damage but then you see it like they get fusions and note and uh, get crushed blase just takes a leap off the edge and that's a one fight so that that's a good example of their shot calling identifying a target and getting or a couple of targets in this case and just really smashing them um, but that's that's what i need to see more of okay so flutter going on a long flank here it looks like he's going to decide against it Okay, now they're going to contest. That's smart. You don't want to give them too much free push. This is, this is a good way to fight. That's a great boot by Michelle, taking them off the high ground. Oh, they're getting aggressive now. Okay, that's a nice job of surviving by Soul. So you should have a decent amount of resources. See, it's just... Boston is just... Oh, it's a nice shatter because it isolates Fleta. Yep, and Fissure's... They, they have to put a ton of resources into Fleta to keep him alive. No resources for Fissure. Boom, he goes down. It just seems like Boston's more comfortable with this... Um, with these compositions, and oh, oh, Fleta just gets fucking splattered on a wall. And that's a nice cap for Boston. They're just, Boston is really good at being aggressive and identifying exactly when to, um, when to literally get aggressive, when to walk into them and swing. Um, and I think that's a good, like a good um, part of that is because they have fusions as their main tank, and he's very uh, experienced, very good at Rhine, um, has played goats for a very long time. So they're going to get aggressive again, and then they're going to back off a little bit. Okay, that's smart. Um, it's a really crisp disengage. Do you see how fast they got out of there and how little damage they took? That's how you disengage. Um, also, Munchkin used his ultimate, so that armor is going to start going away towards the. Um, towards the middle of this fight and look at blase he's at 85 so that's that's um that's just an example of a very very good disengage to give them an advantage so combo comes out for soul it does connect on two that is nice um looked like a boop was probably involved there so they will win that fight um soul has had some really nice combos with um all oh, the stagger um with the diva bomb and grav but i mean that alone will not win you games on goats you need to win fights where you don't have all your ultimates so boston has a yeah i would say they have a, a edge in the alt economy jayhong does have his trance and aim god just used his so he's only at 22 so that is important um but i mean boston has they have four and they're coming up on a fifth ultimate um it's all come down to, it's going to come down to Fleta. Uh, that's a really nice block from Fissure. Okay, early trance coming out and see, now they're going to grab him. That's a really nice shatter. Um, you, you take out, even if you just hit Color Hex there, it's extremely good because that's a ton of their damage gone. Okay, Jay Hung goes down before the beer, the beat can come down. Actually, we're going to go back really quick and see if that was avoidable. Yeah, Jexy has it. He has he has a sound barrier. Jay Hung should not die here. You should, you should, yeah, you should have already dropped the beat right here. Yeah, and Killer Hex just smashes Jay, Jay Hong. That's, that's a mistake by Jexy, 100%. Um, so then they grab, but they just, they just don't have the follow-up. Killer Hex is all charged up. Now the bomb comes in. That's not going to do jack shit. And Boston's just going to, they should be able to just push this baby in as long as they can focus fire. Mm, well, that takes down Notes Mech, though. Oof. Oh. Oh, that was horrible. Boston. 
That was, okay. I've been giving Boston a lot of credit, and they played really well this match, but that was terrible. They had every advantage in the world there, and they just, they did not identify a single target. I don't know if Fusions was a tr fucking dreaming about uh, England or something, but uh, where, where is the target selection? You had a Diva remaking on the point you could have killed. You had, I mean, you could have picked any of them. They just needed to pick one. Um, so I think that's that's a throw by Boston, 100%. Fletta's coming up on a grab. Aim God's only at 63. So if Fletta gets this grab up and uh, goes in aggressively, they should be able to get a good combo with it. Obviously, Michelle does not have his bomb, so maybe they'll wait for that. Another early... See, Boston wins every single poke fight. Jaehong has had to use his trance early like five times in a row. And then this is what happens. Your team just gets fucking just spread out to the world. Your ashes just get thrown, thrown to the world, into the wind. Like, you, you can't, when you know that their Zarya is all charged up and doing damage and decently close to their ultimate, you can't afford to use your trance there. But in Jaehong's defense, you saw the guys getting low. Like, Michelle was going to lose his mech. Fusions was, or Fissure was going to die. Like, what do you do if you're Zen there? You're just fucked because your team lost the poke battle. Um, so that's that's been very impressive. The things that are the reasons why Boston is winning this is because they have way better disengages. Their alt economy is probably a little bit better, um, but then they're just better at shot calling and just understanding understanding goats. Like it, it looks like Soul doesn't really understand goats right now. Man, I'm running low on water already. That's not good. Man. Talking a lot really, uh... Really will do it to you. Alright. So. We see here Boston. Um, I don't think Fisher's going to run Wrecking Ball here. But Boston will r run with what I um, had mentioned before, which is that Winston. That Winston on the defense instead of um, uh, Reinhardt. Okay, so Soul. Okay, Soul's going for it. They're going with the with the uh, double two two two. Very uh, unique two two two. Munchkin on the sombrero. So we'll see how they engage with this. This is going to be very different than what I've been talking about for a while because it's not goats. Okay, Fleta's raining in. I like Fleta's positioning is good. I like that a lot. Fleta, Fleta's a god. He he's a fucking god at Farah. First of all. Okay, Munchkin gets low, but he's able to get out. Fisher is being not super aggressive, which I think makes sense for this stage of it. Um, Fusion's kind of by himself on the right. Okay, now they're gonna now they're gonna kind of come together. Um, they're trying to isolate Fissure, but I mean it's a wrecking ball. He's just gonna run away. And see, this is bad for Boston. Yeah, the Rockets are just gonna get you eventually if you don't. Boston needed to get aggressive there and look for a target. Um, I know that's hard with Soul's comp because they have a very um, agile comp. But if I'm Boston, I'm just grouping up and running at the Diva and demecking that bitch. Like, if you... Hold on, let's go back a little bit. Let's see, before these kills start to come in... Alright, so, you have Fletta, raining injustice from above. Note's trying to mitigate some of that, but, I mean, it's a fair mercy. What's a diva going to do? He's got no chance. So, Fusions is zapping um, poor uh, Fissure over here. And then you got Jaehong and Michelle um, chilling right here. So, you see Color Hex shooting at him. Blase is kind of chilling, doing, doing Blase things. Um, we don't, we don't see Kellex, um, right here, and we don't see Aim God either. Um, and we also know that a little bit ago, Munchkin translocated away. You can see him right there in that little corner. So, Fleta can rain rockets on you, but Note can mitigate that a little bit, distract her. This is where you turn around, you ignore Fissure, you ignore the Wrecking Ball, and you dive on those two, because they will die. They will 100% die. They don't have a bubble to save them. Mercy can come over and try to heal them, but that's not going to be enough. Um, Michelle's already lost most of her... Um, she's already lost half her armor, so her health is going to go down pretty damn quick after that. 
um, to use her rocket so you don't have to worry about those killing you. Um, so yeah, you just, I mean, you dive at them and you, you smash them essentially. But, um, what they do is they just kind of sit around, they're poking at, they're poking at Fleta, they're poking at Fissure, they're poking at Michelle, they're not investing a lot of the resources into one of them, which is, in my opinion, what you have to do against these kind of comps. You have to just pick someone, um, which in this case is, like, Jaehong and Michelle, because they're, um, they can't just fly away like Fleta can. Um, so, yeah, instead they just kind of sit around and Fleta just gets to keep poking. He's poking that back line right there. He's, yep, there you can see Kellex and Aimgod. Yep, Aimgod gets forced out. That is a really nice pinch by Soul. Um, I'll give them credit for that. And then the barrage is massive. And uh, it's easy clap. First point for Soul. So I like that. I, li I like that a lot, switching off the GOATS comp and then uh, executing it really well. So, they get Jexy switching, and okay, now all the other switches are in, Munchkin's going to stay on Sombra, that makes sense. Um, Michelle, obviously, usually Fleta is playing um, Zarya, but Michelle is a off-tank, so she's he's, he's going to know how to play. I mean, he's going to know how to play uh, uh, Zarya. So, that was... It was not a great hack. It hacked a lot of people, but it doesn't get the Zen. He's able to trance. Um, Boston mostly survives that. Soul is able to finally win that, but they have to invest their trance into it as well. Um, and look at Boston up. Like I said, they threw in their trance, but otherwise they didn't invest anything. Hopefully the quality gets better. I don't know why the fuck it just dipped. Um, so pause and see if that helps a little bit. We'll talk about the alt economy because I just brought it up. So. You get the big bang combo. Um, you don't obviously you don't have your shatter um, at 41%. Imgod's gonna be able to get that trance pretty quick. Um, obviously not early on in the fight, but um, Jaehong's only at 19, so you don't have to worry about that. Michelle is 76% and pretty high charge, so that is a little bit of an issue. But they um, they do not have that hack, um, so even though they're going to have sound barrier pretty quick and they have these two alts, that's really nothing to what Boston has. Boston is going to be in much better shape here. And now the quality is better. <sighs> My throat hurts. I'm gonna have to after this game. I'm gonna have to get a little uh, halftime halftime break. Get some more water. Okay, so that's a nice grab. Um, like I said, no Jaehong alt, so that's gonna be it's gonna be a wipe for Boston. Um, and this is where Boston can really kind of dig in. If you can get one, at least one good defense like this on point B of Numbani as well, you're doing really well. Um, I mean, yeah, Soul has three and a half minutes, but uh, Boston, they're they're in pretty decent shape here. Amgod's going to come up on that uh, trance. They have three other alts. Soul does have um, the combo coming up. Munchkin should be able to get his um, uh, EMP soon, unless he's bad. Um, yes, he already up to 81. He should be able to get that pretty damn quick. Oh, he gets a really nice pick on the aim god. And then Boston, ooh, that's a huge loss fight for Boston. That's a that's an absolute throw. Um, the the fact that they threw out their alts, they they used <laughs> they used self destruct, they used sound barrier, and they used rally for no reason in a fight they were going to lose. Like what? You can't win that without your without your Zen. You can't win that fight. So just die, save your alts, and then you'll be in good shape. So souls should be able to do some work here. I definitely give them the advantage. Okay, Boston. They're going to just keep poking again. They're going to get the car contest here, so Soul will still have to win two fights. All right, here comes the EMP. It doesn't get the Zen again. That's great positioning by Aim God. Okay, okay. Fissure had a great slam as well, but it did not matter. Fusions gets a nice kill. They trade out their uh, Lucios. And, oh, man. There's been a lot of scrappy fights in this series. So Soul do end up winning that, but you have to invest essentially everything. You only have your rally, 
and Boston is about to have the combo. Um, so I like Boston's chances to uh, get a fight win here. But for Seoul, you do have to be happy about that. That was a good fight. Even though you invested a lot, you won the fight. You are now one one more win away from uh, completing the map. So you cannot be too mad about that. Plus, you're getting pretty close to um, your alt again. All right. So that's that's fine. That's totally fine if you're Seoul. Um, Michelle didn't get as much energy or didn't get as much ult charge as he would like. He's only up to 25. But you're about to have, I mean, you can just EMP shatter them. <laughs> Their, the next fight as long as you get a good EMP off and Boston still has three alts they're gonna they're pretty close to five essentially but they don't have that grab which is extremely important uh, they're throwing on an early bomb splits them in half it does force out an alt there but oh great slam by Fissure he got knocked down by Fusion's counter but that is totally fine for them they're just gonna clean up these and they should be able to push this in without another real contest um, they should just be getting staggered out, and as long as the as long as the um, target selection is good for Soul, they will take this. All right, Kelks is in. Kelks is hacked. That's a great hack. EMP is coming out. That's also a great EMP. Except doesn't get aimed out again. He comes in. Okay, it's a really nice shatter. They should be able to get the follow up kills from that. Yep, it's coming in. Absolutely destroying Boston. And as long as they can clean up the uh, hamster, they do. Okay, so that's a really nice, that was a very clean attack um, by Seoul over, overall. Um, I believe that their time was definitely better than Uprising. So there's a lot of positives to take away from, from Seoul in that one. Their ult economy looked really, really crisp. They were alternating um, ult very well. They were getting nice combos. Fine quality. So, um, Boston going to be a little bit of trouble here. Um, only have a minute to attack first point. Um, they used Rhine Goats for their attack. Um, we'll see if they do the same thing here. You can always tell when there's teams that, like, really want to be in a meta and, like, are comfortable with the meta, and then teams that aren't, because, like, you can tell Soul doesn't really want to be playing Goats a bunch. I mean, because they, whenever you see teams come out um, with, like, those double or triple or even quad, sometimes DPSs, um, comps, it's like, yes, they can be effective like Soul just, like Soul um, uh, showed us last time out, but it's like, you're going to have to switch to GOATs eventually, and then it resets your alt economy, and then you're going to lose some time there. Um, so is it really worth it? I don't know. I like watching it, but it's like, I think that if I was a coach of a team, I'd say, all right, guys, we're just going to play GOATs all the time. Maybe, and then the, the only the only thing I would change is sometimes do Sombra Goats and sometimes do Winston Goats. So, another mirror matchup here. Soul has two minutes and Boston only has one. So, Boston essentially, if this is a long fight, this is going to be their only good fight. Scratch that. At this point, it's like their only fight. So, they got to make sure to win it. All right, so a couple drop downs. There's all the drop downs. Oh, no. Munchkin. Munchkin, Munchkin, oh boy! All right, there's a lot to look at here, and none of it's good if you're a Soul fan. Okay, so here comes Boston. They're coming through the choke. Soul's like, okay, here we go. Time to fight. Oh wait, they drop down. They're going right back to point like they did last time. So you see, Michelle drops down. He gets knocked down to half health. He gets isolated. He's over there. So you essentially don't have your diva for right now. And they're they're running on to point. So what do you what do you do? <laughs> wait, wait wait. All right, let's do a little game. <laughs> what do you do? A. Stay together and have your diva rejoin you in a little bit. B. Engage them quickly and then have your diva jump into it. C. Back off. Uh, retreat backwards and let them get a little bit of point progress before engaging as a team. Or D. <laughs> if you're a Brigida, jump on down jump down in the middle of the point away from your team and feed out of your mind. All right, let's see what they pick. Oh, here goes Brig. <laughs> what is he doing? Munchkin. You can't drop down like that when you're Brig. You're not Rhine. So that's a massive, that's a massive communication failure right there. Uh, I wish the, I really wish the quality would 
pick up. But um, yeah, wow, that that's brutal. I mean, that is like the worst kind of fight you want to have if you're Soul because now they should have alt advantage. Which really, looking at it, Boston doesn't. Besides besides trance, which is important, they have a slight advantage. But it's like Color Hex didn't do a great job of getting energy, probably because the fight ended so quickly. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what Soul can do right around this corner. Okay, they get aggressive and then they back off again. Really, really clean disengage from Boston. That's really nice work. And then poke battle, they're winning. Early trance from Jay Hong. It's like clockwork. It really is. Aim guide uses his as well, and that's a huge shatter by. Wait, he pinned the he pinned the Zen away. Pin and get a kill. Okay, they pick up Blase, but then yeah, they're going down. What is Fissure doing? That was such a good shatter. And then he pin like I understand you pin the the trancing Zen off because then he can't get the heals, but just pin a squishy and kill him. Oh man, that that fight started off real. Oh, we're gonna have to go back and look at this. All right, so here comes the slam. It's absolutely massive. Blase, um, color hex, uh, fusions are all down. Aim God is not. Um, he's in his trance. Node is trying to do what he can on the cart. Um, and then he, so here's obviously the whole team coming up. They're going to try to follow up on this damage. So then, was Fisher, he might have been trying to get Fusions and Aim God to grab him. Hmm. Okay, I can't, I guess I can't talk too much shit about that play because you do, you take, you take the Zen out of it. He can't do anything right now. You have your combo. You can put in all the damage, but without your Ryan, you can't do that much damage. Like, the only person doing a ton, I mean, Munchkins can swing in there a bit, but it's like, Fleta's mainly the guy that's going to do it. And if you, you see, Fusion's laid down his shatter. It was a really nice shatter. You know Fissure's leaving, so he gets a free shatter out. He knocks down Jayhong and Fleta. There's no damage for Soul right now. There's no damage going into this great grab. So unless this bomb kills two or three people or more, you're not going to win this fight. You see Munchkin's already losing health. Jae Hong's got no trance. Um, your shield is gone. Like, you're going to you're gonna lose this fight. And we just saw that they do lose this fight because of that. Like, look at all the people low. They get an easy grab on two squishies. The squishies are down. Fisher dies. Fisher died to aim god. He didn't even get the kill. Oh man, I'd love to see a replay of that. I wonder what happened. That, aim, wow, he really is a god. He must have just been able to back away from his hammer and just shoot him in the fucking face with him discorded, and Fisher couldn't get the swings in. Wow. So the, I mean, at this point, it's a fuck. It's completely falling apart for Soul. It's completely falling apart. They can't do anything. Like, they can't even get a point contest there. They've blown their ultimate economy. Oh, this is a disaster. An absolute disaster. Okay, Color Hex gets really low. They do finish him. That's a great job of finishing him. They should be able to win that fight. Yep, 4v6. Um, looks like that knocked down two people, the, the Shatter. Um, it gets one kill out of it, but come on, come on, Soul. You can't lose this fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, they're losing this fight. Oh, Fissure does take out Fusions, but he goes down. Oh, the bomb. It doesn't clear anyone. Oh my goodness. That is... Oh, Soul. They got two kills. They lost a 6v4 fighting goats. Munchkin and Jayhong got shattered, but still. Oof. You have to, like, focus down the Rhine at that point with the, um... Because who did they lose? Yeah, they lost the Zarya, so there's no Zarya bubble for the Rhine. And then they lost their uh, Lucio as well, I believe. Or maybe it was Blase. But either way... Oh, man. Is Blase going to finish? No, looks like... Okay, that is nice. Another... That was a massive, absolutely massive shatter by Fissure. Too bad the... the main cam didn't catch that not that we'd be able to see any with the potato quality let's 
Let's try just doing that. So yeah, I mean, if you're soul here, you have very, very, very little chance of winning this game. No. Let's see the replay. Oh. Oh, he stunned him out of the beat drop. That's actually massive. Well done, Munchkin. Too bad your team is probably 99% chance going to lose this map now. I mean, even though they had a minute more than um, Boston, I, that doesn't mean anything anymore. Boston, they won one fight to get it, then they won another fight to get it on the corner, then they won another fight to get it in, and then they won another fight to get it to 47. So, I mean, in GOATS, they essentially won, like, five fights. So, you're gonna, you're probably going to have at least... If you're solo, you're gonna best case scenario, you're gonna have probably three fights in overtime if you want to win this game. And that's if you that's if you win your that's if you win essentially every fight. So it looks like they probably will run the same attack. Seeing Fleta on the Farah and Munchkin on the Sombra. Yep. Okay, yep, so they full, they do fully switch over to that. I mean, it worked last time. It will probably work again. Um, we'll see if Boston does anything differently against it this time. Okay, Fusions drops down to point. He gets really low. He has to jump back. He's getting healed up. He's getting healed up pretty slow. Note's gonna, probably going to lose his mech here. He's hacked up and low. Oh, maybe not. They lost Jaehong. But Boston is still really low. A couple of their very important people are low. So they could still... Seoul could still take advantage of this. Mm. They get a tick already. Fleta about to have his barrage. Oh, he's about to go in. Oh, it's a great hack. Yep, there's going to be the follow-up kills. Alright, so Seoul's going to get the point. It took a minute. So they're going to have 50 seconds... I mean, they can essentially afford to win one fight or lose one fight right away. Maybe. I mean, 40 seconds, yeah. Um, okay, so everyone's going to switch. I, I, Michelle and Fissure were close to ultimate, so I I wasn't sure if they were going to stay on. I think that's a good call to switch off, though, because you need to you need to get here right away. But like, there's 25 seconds. Um, you're going – I mean, you're going to lose this next fight. They have, they have a huge alt advantage. So, if you're soul right now, you need somebody to make an absolutely hero play or and or have Boston absolutely throw out of their minds. Okay, so they back off. I think that's smart. You're getting all charge. Jaehong is about to have his trance. Munchkin could potentially get to that EMP if he puts if he lays down some really big damage. Okay, they're going to initiate with trance. There's nothing for the grab though. Here comes the grab. Yep, that's it. Hmm. I mean, I think I, I think this is like the fourth or fifth time I've said it. Soul keeps losing the poke fights. They are not winning the poke fights ever. Boston is just consistently doing a better job of putting down great um, poke and getting uh, advantage in alts. Jaehong keeps getting forced to use these trances. That situation was a little bit different. He more did it to like touch point, it seemed. But it's still the same concept. Like whenever you trance before their grab, if your grab doesn't, if their grab doesn't get eaten or whiffed, on the low chance it gets whiffed, you lose. You just straight up lose. And that time they Munchkin was on, was on Sombra. So Flutter was on Brig. So Michelle was on Zarya. So no one was on Diva. So you can't even eat it. So there's just nothing you can do at that point. Hmm. Yeah, this has been fun. All right, but anyway, I'm going to run up and get some water really quick, and uh, fast forward a little bit, let it load. Is there? We'll skip over halftime. You can see beautiful Mr. Puckett, beautiful Miss Zoe, and beautiful Mr. Brand. Um, but yeah, we're going to skip over them. 
And um, yeah, when we get when I come back, we'll see if see if uh, I mean, if you've watched, you probably know how this game turns out because it was from a couple weeks ago. But uh, we'll see if Souls able to clean up some of their play at all. Perfect. All right. Alrighty, and we're back, boys. This has been actually a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Um, so, uh, looks like we're at Rhine Mirror Goats, and um, just a little disclaimer: like I'm. I'm not, I'm not trying to, um, say by doing these, like, I'm not trying to say, oh man, these teams are so bad, like, I've never made a mistake in Overwatch, or anything like that, um, I'm kind of just, I'm also not trying to do, like, deep dive analysis, because there are people that are much, much, much better than me, um, at that, like, one of the people casting this game, Maya Cristo, um, I'm just trying to give another perspective, um, Maybe a little bit of uh, entertaining, um, and a little bit of space to it, rather than what kind of uh, the casters can do. Um, so, and I also I like um, kind of just like diving in and looking at stuff, um, and not just watching it, but like critically watching it to kind of see um, what's going on, uh, because that's interesting to me. Overwatch has very has always been very interesting to me. Um, so like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy this and then I can do this a lot more as a series. Side note, Fissure fucking massive. He's at 40%. <laughs> he hit some fuck. he hit a fucking nasty fire strike. What are you doing? Note, you didn't need it. <laughs> oh no. Wait a minute. Oh, I wish the cams had caught that. Note just assassinated Jay Hong again, and Fissure goes down. Oh no, it fell apart so fast. Ah, oh, that hurts. That absolutely just hurts my soul. Fissure does have his shatter. That's kind of your only good news. Um. Yeah. Okay, so Boston's gonna go around. We're gonna do a little loop de loop. Oh, man, this could be a steamroll. Oh, that's a it's a nice shatter though. Then okay, shatter is able to open it up, get a couple kills. They don't quite have their support alts. They did have beat. I don't know if they had beat at the time of the shatter. They didn't quite have that trance yet, so it's going to be a fight win for Soul. That is very, very important. Um, now they're going to be working up to their alts. Still, Jaehong and, and Jaxi at 66 and 62%. Boston has both of theirs. Uh, Boston's 10 and 1 on Anubis. Not too shabby. Okay, so Soul disengages. That's a good disengage. Bought him a little bit of time. Okay, so uh, Blase pops his ult right away. He's giving armor to the boys. Munchkin probably going to pop his now. Eh, he's actually waiting a little bit. Okay, okay, we'll see if the grab combo gets anything. No, it does not. Oh, that's a nice shatter. They can get, yep, they can get Jexy out of that. 
oh, this is this is big. That second alt coming in, or second frag coming in. Munchkin uses his alt, but at this point, yeah, Soul's just gonna have to disengage, give up two ticks, and come back. Can they make it back? They do. They're already way low on health, though. Okay, it's a nice sound barrier. All right, they get a nice stun and delete fusions. Okay. So, I mean, I, you don't want to call that a great fight for Soul. They gave up 91% of the point, but that is a nice job to come back and at least win. Um, otherwise, Boston would be looking at a time bank of, like, 520 that they've completed in, uh, but they will not get that now. Um, already below five minutes now. So, uh, Soul <clears throat> in a decent shape for alt economy as well. Um, Boston also doing pretty well, though. Jayhawk needs to get this trance fast. Then, I mean, it's going to come down to whichever team hits that combo better. Or if somebody gets out of position and caught out immediately. We've seen Jayhawk die first a couple times now. Like I said, I would really like to go back and, oh, lots of vaults coming out here. Can they get a boop or anything? Nope, not quite. Mm, Boston looking more healthy. So, uh, the shatter gets flooded down, but they're not able to. Um, they're not able to capitalize on that. Oh, flooded coming out on the, Oh, another great. Oof, man, Fisher's had some absolutely great shatters. Um, definitely playing well in this match, I would say. He'd be. He'd probably be the last person I'd blame for this. Honestly, I think Flood has played well, too. He's kept high energy. Um, his grabs haven't been bad. Um, like I said, I had a problem with that on Nepal when they didn't get aggressive, but I think that that was more a shot-calling decision more than um, Fleda making a decision as a person. Yeah, if any of you guys like Overwatch League and you want to, like, see a bunch of different angles um, and, like, different perspectives, and you got a little bit of money, or if it's 15 bucks, if you have a little bit of spare money, um, I would recommend picking up the, the pass and getting the command center. It is really nice. Like, if you're if you're a Lucio main and you really want to um, find ways to get better as Lucio and just, like, watch really good ones, there you go. And, yeah, you can watch, like, you can watch streamers too, but uh, this is at the, the pinnacle of Overwatch competition. So, Okay, nice grab. A little bit of a long one, but I like it. Node is going to use his alt just to kind of zone people away, it looks like. Mm, oh, it's a nice shatter. It looks like that's going to wrap it up. That's a good job of uh, by Uprising of pre preventing anyone from dying to that grab-bomb combo. I honestly thought a couple of them would have. So, a very good, a very good start for for Boston here. I think you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit you're gonna be shaking in your boots a little bit if you're a Dynasty fan after that. Ooh, with that omen. So, wow, <laughs> it just kind of didn't happen. Pins Fisher out of it all, and he gets booped into the wall. Which actually, I don't think it would have mattered at all, but that actually kind of uh, screwed screwed Dynasty even more. They did hold until only a couple minutes, though. And seeing as how disastrous the first point was, I think that they can be uh, they can feel pretty good about that. Alright. So, Uprising, going to do what a lot of people have done. They're going to get, uh, they're going to be playing the Winston Goats. I mean... Pause it real quick. Fusions, 43% already. So that's why people play Winston. He can jump He can jump onto the enemy team, zap a whole bunch of people, get a ton of all charge. He can get bubbled and then get out. Um, so that is the essentially the plan with him. And then he uses his ult to disrupt the enemy team. Okay, so here he comes. Just walking in. I like that positioning because then he doesn't have to use his jump right away. Then when he got focused, he was able to jump out. That's nice. He didn't get a lot of alt charge from that, but he didn't die. So that's all. That's a big plus. All right. So that's okay. So uh, Temple of the News is really interesting. We didn't get to see it on the on Boston's attack because they just 
killed Jehong and Fidger so fast. Um, but a lot of times this is the kind of situation you see. You see a lot of defenders on the high ground. We see Note, we see Kellex. Um, Kellerhex is chilling on the point, getting some contest in, so um, Soul doesn't get a free tick. Um, a lot of times in fights, especially if the defenders don't feel great about their chances, um, you see Note is pretty low, Fusion's also taking some damage. Um, they, they will often give up percentage on a point as long as they think that they can recontest and win a fight a bit later on. Fletta, interesting positioning over here. Um, he's like lobbing, he's lobbing nades, it looks like, at Kellex. I would rather he just be with Fissure and just storm Color Hex, because Color Hex doesn't have like abilities that can get him out right away. Uh, maybe Kellex can come over and kind of speed him away, but um, that's that's who I'd focus on right there. So we'll we'll see we'll see because um, it looks like the rest of Jehong's way in the back I'm sure, but um, these four are all pretty much close together. We'll see how um, Soul wants to keep attacking this. Okay, so they're dipping in. Oh, that's a great charge from Fissure. Uh, fusions he's gonna get the heals but now he's getting discarded so he's got to leave again i mean with no color hex the damage isn't going to be there yeah fusions is just going to die no it's going to get demac then it's just gonna spite over from there so it's a it's gonna that's a nice attack from soul um they they pretty much stayed together so they didn't get um picked off at all from the high ground and then fissure got a huge opening which uh let them open it up and win that easy clap. So all of a sudden, it's looking better for Soul. They have an alt advantage because uh, Fusions just switched to Ryan, so he's not gonna have Shatter for a while. Color Hex is 30 over 30 percent behind Fleta. Uh, Michelle's coming up on a bomb. So is Note. Um, but then Kellex and Blase are a bit away from their alts, and Soul's about to have all three support alts. Soul's basically gonna have all six. They're gonna have the big six pretty soon. Fusion's shield is breaking. He goes down. All right. Uh, unless that, yeah, that's pretty much a um, a gamble, self-destruct. You're probably not expecting that to do much. Okay. And now the trance is up. Yep. They're going to destroy Aim God in there. They should get a pretty easy D-Mech there as well. And they're actually, Note is hiding. Um, Blase should get blown up. Oh, no, he gets actually knocked or booped or um, something away. Nice alts from Soul here, but they gotta start getting kills. Okay, it's a good start. Okay, no barriers. Okay, now they're starting to get the follow-up kills and say because they still don't even have a tick. That should do it now. Aim God did switch over to the Ana. Um, a lot of times on a two CP delay like this, you do see somebody switch to Ana. Um, the reasoning behind that is so they can kind of kind of sit back behind point because a lot of times a team trying to just cap the point will just stay on it. So if you're Ana, you can kind of just sit back and get. A lot of free shots into um, your team and with the enemy team but very clean attack from soul there I mean that's that's pretty much textbook how you want to play Anubis you make sure to you make sure to punish the Winston when he jumps in and or out um, if Winston jumps out and his team and he leaves a teammate or two, um, you want to focus them, kind of like what they did to Color Hex, and then you just uh, you get your alt advantage. You you don't blow your alts um, until you really uh, find a good situation. You do want to use them aggressively in that situation because you have the advantage, and of course, whenever you have the alt advantage, you want to um, take advantage of that. So we'll see if Boston. I mean, they're three minutes behind, so they are in some trouble here. We'll see if they can get um, both. Uh, parts completed again. Both can use Ryan Goats. Soul doesn't seem super confident on Winston Goats, which is weird because Fissure's so good at Winston. But it might just be preference. Who knows? Massive 8 percent for Michelle ahead of everyone else in alt charge oh getting a bunch that's actually that's actually really nice like no no kappa early 24 percent it figures at 36 the only person that's doing well for all charge on Boston is aim God okay so we'll see if they're able to keep fissure up here oh Jexy gets he gets too far in the middle he gets caught out he gets stunned and then he's dead and now they're all gonna die these first point defenses have been fucking rough for Soul. 
like I said, I just... I, at this point, I have no faith in Seoul being able, especially when they're on defense, I just have no faith in them winning a Goats v. Goats fight against Boston if they're if they're on Ryan. Like, if they don't have an alt advantage. The neutral fights, Boston just owns. And that's, I mean, if you're, Seoul, if you're a Seoul player or fan, you that's very, very um, distressing. Okay, so I'm engaging from the um, from the left. Not too surprising there. I like this positioning by Sol. You just you kind of contest the point for for free. Okay, early early trans is coming out from both color hex and flood are both getting very close to grabs. Color hex has his flood is at 95. Whoever has the better combo here, Node is about to have his self-destruct. Michelle has had his for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, both of the grabs get eaten. Uh, two stuns from Fissure's um, Shatter, but they can't get the follow-up. Fusions gets the charge off, but it, it's bubbled, and that's going to do it for Boston's attempt. So that's good. That's really nice for Soul. Uh, both teams used a bunch of ultimates. Um, but Seoul has the advantage in support ultimates massively. I mean, they're at 100 to 52, and then 90 to 9, and then 88 to 66. So, yeah, they're. Um, Seoul is ahead in every single category except for Grav, and that's not the biggest deal in the world because Fleta has retained his charge. Um, so, you should be able to pass up Color Hex or at least uh, be even with him. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is the last fight. I really do like um, the positioning from Soul here. Playing around that little, uh, the big pillar will, um, I mean, you, don't, you just don't really take damage. So then Boston can't really um, farm their alts up. Well, um, Soul, so Soul can retain the um, alt advantage. So as long as, as long as Soul doesn't mess this up, they got this fight easy. Of course, Note did eat the last grab. Let's see if he can do it again. Fusions go so, so, so low. Aim God is forced to use the trance. All right, Jaehong also uses the trance, though. Better grab combo. Here we go. There's the one grab. There's not going to have enough follow-up damage. Yep, Fusions tries to walk in and, and do it, but he, he just can't. And that's going to lock up two in the grab, and that's going to clean it all up for Soul. So, very nice point B defense from Soul both times. Look like they really knew it, really knew how to play that. And, um... That's why they get the win. Sorry, not the win, the hold. They're in very good sh shape to win. They only need to get first point and then one tick. And then all of a sudden, hey, we got a series. They're doing what we're doing, water break. Munchkin always looks like he's, like, confused. <laughs> he's just like, wait, where am I again? We went a little far. Oh, actually, yeah, let's go back and see that because... Boston took a very, very, very early fight. That is entertaining to me. Okay. We're chilling. Oh, here comes the note. Oh! Okay, I like that. Yep. Note does lose his mech, though. That is very important. But I, I like that. Um, normally, teams won't take that aggressive fight. Um, but... I think, like I, like I said, with Boston, it's like, you're beating them in Rhine Goats. Just play Rhine Goats. You don't have to get fancy with the with the Winston. And if I'm honest, Fusions is kind of trash at Winston, in my opinion. But he's a very good Reinhardt. So, now they're going to have alt advantage. Even though, actually, Jaehong is better than Aim God in terms of alt right now. They will have that Shatter coming up pretty soon for Fusions. But this, this fight could still go either way. Michelle dives in and gets low. Note does get his mech back. See, Soul couldn't even win the poke battle convincingly when Note didn't have his mech. I don't know who that really comes down to. I guess the Zarya and the Diva and the Zen. Lucio too, I guess, for, for positioning. But Note's going to go to half. They don't really focus fire on him, though. They don't really focus on anybody. Early trance comes out, but they can't get any kills out of it. Fusions is so low. There goes the grab. Man, these early trances are just killing me, dude. 
I'm sure Monte Cristo is saying a very similar thing on on the broadcast. Man. I mean, you're just... Color Hex's eyes have to just light up every time. He says, oh, there's the trance. All I have to do is land this thing without it getting eaten. And here we go. And Boston's going to have Vault Advantage. Actually, they're going to be even. Soul will have the bomb combo very soon. We'll see if they try to use that. Oh, it's a great slam. That knocked down three, it looked like. Oh, Michelle with another huge bomb. And they're going to clean up. All right, so it's going to be at least a draw. Of course, I mean, for Seoul, they, if they draw, they still lose the series, so they definitely want to get a win here. And they stagger around to note. and the, Okay, that's where they kill him. Yep, that's smart. They don't have they don't have the bomb combo though for second point so this is probably gonna have to be an eco push unless Fissure lands a absolutely huge earth shatter. Also, if they get a pick, they could uh, pop trance and try to walk in and kill people. I would not advise that. Color Hex is at seventy five percent on his ultimate, so if I'm Jay Hong, I would save that shit. Even if you lose this fight, not a big deal. You got two and a half minutes. Here come alts from Boston. Okay, there goes the shatter. It knocks down two. Uh, two very important targets as well. Color Hex solo. He's down. And this could be it. Soul could win this right here. Um, it's That's actually that's so massive of a shatter because you can see um, both at 60 plus now for D.Va and Zarya. And I don't even think it will matter. They're getting the cleanup kills. Fusions, he's not going to have his shatter for a little bit. Color Hex will have grab soon, but they're, I mean, they're really low on members. They don't have bomb combo. There go two more. Yeah, that's this is going to do it. Grav, uh, not huge. <laughs> Nothing he really could have done there. Um, when you lose your um, Rhine and Zarya to that shatter, I mean, there isn't much Boston can do about that. Fissure's had a very, very, very good game. That is one thing that I've noticed. Landing a bunch of shatters, outplaying fusions, even though fusions hasn't played bad, I don't think, in a lot of ways. Um, but so, yeah, that soul cleaned up a lot of their um, problems. But like I said, they just their win condition is always have a better alt economy. Um, so I think that getting to escort, they're going to be in some trouble. Wow, 37 and 3 for Michelle on Anubis. Alright. So, Route 66. The big question for me will we see quad DPS? Oh, Souls use okay. So Souls going with the Bastion, the Bastion comp. Very interesting. So yeah, as you can see, they're gonna sit on here. They're gonna sit on this beam. Fissure is going to keep his shield um, on here to protect Fissure, of course. Michelle's also gonna hang out. Um, Jexy's going to uh, damage amp him when needed. All right. So Boston, obviously. Oh boy. Okay. So they're taking a lot of damage. Yep. Fusions gets knocked around. So, looking at Boston's comp, they have Blase on the Wrecking Ball. They have Fusions on, on the Winston. They have a Sombra, and then um, Ana, Lucio, Diva. So, generally, the idea of this is they're trying to dislodge Bastion. And a lot of people will insta, in like rank and lower tiers, they will insta pick off of... Uh, Winston against um, against Bastion, but I honestly think in a lot of ways Winston is better against Bastion than like say Reinhardt, because Reinhardt, unless you can get close enough to him to get a charge in, you can't do anything. Like you can lob, you can lob a fire strike, it doesn't matter. It's gonna get healed up, um, and your shield is just gonna get broken, and you're going to be a useless character. So, the point with 
um, with Winston is because he's very, very mobile. He can um, dislodge and create disorder and that's what you want to do you want to create chaos when you're when you're playing um, a comp like this because then maybe the Orisa gets lost in the shuffle maybe you can isolate the mercy maybe um, you get the bastion scared he gets out of turret form and starts to run those are your win conditions obviously fusion gets absolutely smacked around here so we'll see what boston does um note does a little drive by onto jayhong but i mean yeah he gets hacked up and knocked off the edge Not a, not a huge fan of this comp by Boston. Well, as a whole. I think the Sombra makes sense. I think Winston makes sense to an extent. But I, I just, I don't know. I don't know about the Wrecking Ball. Okay, Color Hex gets spotted out, so he has to translocate out. He does get a pretty good amount of energy, or er, alt charge, though. He's at 55. Fusions gets hacked. Munchkin's doing a very solid job so far on that. Uh, oh, Jaehong, though. He gets... He gets anti they lose Fissure, and he goes down. So, well, they, they don't lose Fissure. Fissure gets knocked off high ground. So, that's essentially why you're playing the Wrecking Ball. You're trying to knock, um, you can't, I mean, you can't knock Bastion off high ground if he's, if he's in turret form, but you can knock Orisa off. So, that's what they eventually do. They, um, like I said, you create, uh, Disorder, you create Chaos, and um, that does get the job done for them. So for Boston, they're flexing over back to Goats, except for uh, Color Hex is going to stay on this Sombra because he has his ultimate. Same thing for Dynasty, except Jehan goes to Ana instead of... Um, oh, six-man hack coming out from Color Hex. That's absolutely massive. They do only get one follow-up kill. Okay, two. They should be able to turn this now um, for Boston. Yep, take out Jehan. And it's just the cleanup now. Color Hex goes down. That might actually be better for Boston because they might switch him onto Zarya now. Um, Jaehong went to Ana because he kind of, he probably figured that um, Note switch to Diva or Note switch to Zarya, so then they wouldn't have a Diva, so he could get nice um, fat biotic grenades in there. But it didn't really work out that way, as we saw. So he's going to go back to Zen. As a result, he's way behind on alt economy. I honestly, I honestly might speed a couple parts of this map up. But we are nearly back into the um, Mirror Goats v. Goats. Munchkin's still hanging around on that Sombra for a little bit. They're kind of stuck because usually Fleta will play Zarya, but Fleta has his ultimate, and so we'll see if they if they just stick on the Sombra here or if they try to manufacture getting a Zarya, because I feel like they're going to need a Zarya. Okay, the hack comes out, it gets five, it gets everybody except for Kellex. Fusions goes down, Aim God is really low. Blase gets killed. Okay, so that, that will be a win um, a win for Soul. I mean, you would hope that you would win that fight with EMP. They also used self destruct and um, rally, so maybe that was their kind of way of uh, resetting their alt economy. Maybe they're gonna uh, fight on the point here, expect to lose, and then switch to the comp that they really want, maybe. That's honestly what I'd probably do at this point. Because now they're backing up, they're giving a lot of uh, free push, and I, I just don't see him winning this fight unless Fissure gets a, gets a huge shatter, which he has gotten some really nice ones, but... I mean, relying on an Earth Shatter and Ghost Meta is generally not a good idea. Okay, Jay Hong, early, early trance again. They get the hack on Fusion, so then they're able to knock down Aim God, but they cannot finish him. Now Fissure's going to go down. The Slam comes in. Jexy is uh, less than half. Yep, he's going to go down. And the rest will follow. Soul did do a pretty good job of delaying there for a while, though. Um, they have a couple alts. They force out a couple alts from Boston, most notably the Trance. But they're going to have Grav Bomb Combo. And Jay Hong used his trance, so they can't do anything about that. Michelle is going to go over to Zarya. Munchkin and Fletter are going to stay where they are. See, that's what I don't like about um, like that composition of, of theirs. Um, I feel like having Fletter on the Brig and having Michelle on the Diva locks up their ability to switch. Because then Munch, like Munchkin has to switch to Brig, but then Fletter has to go to Zarya. 
and that's resetting a lot of alts um, and they didn't really die at the same time or they just didn't want to switch it um, I don't know the summer for them it just hasn't felt super effective for me Munchkin uh, has a chance to prove me wrong here though he's got his EMP fusions is low see that's where I get aggressive you got to get aggressive there it's just right in the supports and then divas kind of close all right now they're trying to get aggressive on him but it's too late the Zarya is back yeah I shot calling has to be is definitely one of the issues with soul they're just uh, they don't feel like a confident team and they in the past they did like against the gladiators they looked confident against um, a couple of their other first, like, initial matchups, they look confident. But, like, in the, this one and the, the New York one as well, um, they just did not look super comfortable. They do get aggressive there. It's a nice hack for a Munchkin to set it up. Um, they get the easy kills. Less than two minutes now for Boston. Uh, Boston does have four ultimates and four uh, very good, important ones. But then Soul is also about to have four. And they're also very impactful ones. You talk about Earth Shatter, you talk about Trance, of course. Um, EMP, crucial to this comp. And then, um, of course, the uh, Graviton. Speaking of Gravitons, uh, Soul gets grabbed. They do take out Fissure. Uh, Munchkin goes for it anyway. Does get five with it, except Aim God. He's hiding around a corner, so they can't get anything out of that EMP. <laughs> yeah, it's always funny to say because it's like, I don't want to call it EMP shit because it was a five EMP, five man EMP, but effectively it is shit because it's useless. Um, it does, however, force out trance. Aim God's now at thirty one percent. Michelle has grab, so that's your that's your win condition. Um, Kellex does have sound barrier that you can put in though to mitigate some of that damage. So Jayhan goes down early. Shatter knocks down Fissure and Fletta. That's gonna that's gonna remove them. And yeah, as long as the focus fire is good, they're gonna they're gonna get in. Yep. Looking pretty rough for Soul. I just I, I don't really agree with their composition. I know I said that I didn't really trust them to win a straight up Ryan, um, Ryan v Ryan, but I think you you need to have Michelle on Sombra there. He, his Sombra has been a lot more effective um, than the others. I think at that point, you you have uh, Munchkin still on the Brig. You have Michelle on Sombra. And then you have uh, Fleta playing the uh, Zarya. And then you don't have a D.Va. That, that's what I would recommend. Because um, this way, like I said, it, lock, it really, really locks them into their roles. Jaehong has died early in a lot of these fights. I honestly though I don't I don't necessarily blame him for a lot of them. I mean, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's his fault positionally, maybe it's the team's fault positionally. Like a couple times when he's been caught by note, um, it is just a good play, good play by note, good play by a very good player. Um, but okay, uh, Fisher gets caught out. Uh, that's a scra weird scrappy fight. Looks like Soul is getting the better of it though. Fusions is all by himself. Yep, there goes the back line. They do clean up Fusions. So it's an early um, fight win for Soul. It always amazes me though. Like they're just getting it going, and it's they're 50 seconds in now. I I I do and I like when teams take that early fight. I think it makes a lot of sense, as long as you don't lose like super convincingly, and you can get some alt some of your alts. I'm starting to uh, be built up. It makes a lot of sense because it's a goat fight, so it's going to uh, drag on for a while, and um, you're really gonna knock some time off of the um, clock. And of course, you will, you will get another contest. It's a massive combo that is going to stop Soul in their tracks. I mean, it's still pretty early, but only two and a half minutes. And of course, by the time they all reset and get back in the fight, there's going to be about two minutes. So, I mean, you're already worrying about time a little bit if you're soul. The card is 56 meters, so they win convincingly in this fight. They should be able to cap um, first point without Boston getting another um, opportunity to defend. That is the good news for soul. Um, so they're dropping down. Going to get some free cart push. They're going to get it about back to where it was. Now they're getting some new progress. Okay. 
Lost in maintaining the high ground. I don't mind that. Like I said, it's one fight either way, so you can give him a bit of free push here as long as it, it effectively sets you up for the fight. That's um, that's kind of my uh, thinking on that. Like the 15 meters they gave him are fine. Fissure gets shattered. The sound barrier is too late from Jexy. I've said that a couple times as well. Um, oh, the flood, the flood of grab coming in is if the bomb doesn't kill a bunch, it doesn't. Now they pop trance. No, no, Saul, you've thrown, you've thrown so hard. Set. Oh, we lost our Reinhardt. All right, sound barrier. That that one, it was like right after he died. So I was like, okay, whatever. Your sound barrier is just a little bit late. Okay, that's excusable. Fleta goes. Oh, what? We're at a disadvantage, and it's a 65, and our sound barrier is running out? You said grab? Okay. <laughs> Michelle's like, okay, let's hit this combo. And then Jae Hong's like, wait, what? We got no but we got no kills in the combo, and it's like a 4v6 at this point? Let me pop trance. Oh, that is an absolute disaster. This could be a full hold for sure. They do get Blase, though, and a late. A little bit too late of a... Uh, beat by Kellex, but it doesn't matter. It's a nice combo. And Dynasty has no ultimates because Jay Hong, Michelle, and Fleta absolutely threw the game. Uh, last fight coming in. Fleta getting close to another grab. Um, Boston did blow. Uh, they used three alts in that last fight. Um, they're going to have three. Um, going to come down to can they get a good shatter? Otherwise, Soul will at least extend this series for a little bit longer. Okay. Poking away, poking away. Wow, oh, Color Hex got really low. Soul's actually winning the poke battle. Pog. Munchkin going to use that alt right away to get aggressive. Fissure gets hammered down. So here comes the alt from Jay Hong. I don't mind that one this time because Color Hex is not that close, but all of a sudden, like right after I said that, he's already to 65%. Soul should still win this. Let's see if their target priority is good. Yep, they focused on fusions. They should get the diva now. Yep. Okay, so Soul will uh, keep this fight going. Oh, I have to pee really bad. As I drink more water, but I mean at this point, I have to go really bad either way. Um, plus water takes a while to go through your system. Okay, so Boston has the big combo. Soul, um, they're little ways away on a bunch of their ultimates so they'll probably just if i'm them this is an eco push for me okay here comes the grab that's fine here comes the combo and they do survive it but jexy does go down i think that is good that's a good call by him though to not use beat they use two ultimates just take your l you've built you built some more alt percentage now you should be able to win this next fight i think that is a good call by whoever said that whoever told them to save their ultimates I like that first part. <laughs> that was ugh, that was like a one of my like plat games. <laughs> Everyone just decides to pop their alt once players are dead. Okay, Kellex playing for a boop here. We haven't seen super aggressive Lucio positioning in this game, honestly. So Jay Hong, um, Jay Hong uses his alt. Kellex counters with the sound barrier. Uh, Jexy can use his now. Munchkin using his as well. This is a must-win fight now for Soul. They've used all three support alts. Uh, they get Blase. They focus him down. That's very nice. Color Hex is getting low as well. Yep, Soul will be able to win this fight. Um, but they, I mean, this, they're only at 21 meters. Not doing a good job of preventing them from pushing that whole time. So they're gonna have to win another fight um, in order to cap second point. Boston. With the alt advantage here, I think if you're soul, it's uh, time you just start start praying to whatever deity you believe in. Unless you don't believe in a deity at all, then you just start, uh, I don't know what you do then. Start mind powering them, I guess, to victory. Okay, the grab comes out, doesn't do much. Color Hexes does get eaten though, that's absolutely massive by Michelle. Oh, Fissure goes down though on the bomb, and this I think this is it. The trance is about to run out for Jay Hong. Fusions does get traded out though. That's a huge kill by Munchkin. But still, they yeah, they just don't have the health. They don't have the health, they don't have the alts. Blase just Blase gets taken out though. 
Soul could turn this. They're turning it. The trance comes out for Mame God. Unbelievable. There were like three people on Soul that were literally critical, and they keep them up. Boston does not focus them down. And here we go. It's not over yet. Soul just hangs on once again. Wow. And they're coming up on. They're about to have four ultimates. Boston is getting close to a lot of theirs, but they're not going to have any of them. This is suddenly. It's suddenly winnable for Soul. Um. They need to they need to make it another 65 ish 60 meters that's kind of an early grab um, it does get the kills they don't use anything else to combo with it that is also very important because again they're gonna need to win at least one more fight probably win one more fight and then deal with delays as well um, they do use a very important uh, ultimate in the grab there but I mean you have to win the fight somehow um, not looking great for them now though because Boston's coming up with Four, soon to be five ultimates. Um, Soul sitting at four. So this could go either way. Um, getting high ground for Boston. That's a good idea. Color Hex really needs to start getting some energy. We'll see when he chooses to start using those bubbles. Okay, early grab. They're going to eat. Oh, he uses the IQ. He uses the, the rotating platform to stop his bomb and drop it right on him. Note with the fucking 300 IQ plays. And will Soul even be able to touch here? They've used a bunch of their alts. Uh, if Leta goes down, it's over. They get Jay Hong. Oh, no. Jexy will be able to touch. Yes, he does touch. Michelle basically lost his mech already. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to be the series. So, Boston, Boston wins this one. <laughs> nice good charge coming in from Fissure, but it's not going to matter. Cleanup kills coming in. So, yeah, this was a this was a pretty big upset when it happened. Um, I think a lot of people favored uh, Seoul going into this. Boston is understandably hyped. They played a very, very good match of Overwatch. Uh, congrats to them. So, yeah. My takeaways from this with Soul, um, like I said, this is more about Soul, so I won't I won't say a bunch about um, Uprising, even though, like I said, they impressed me. They 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 constantly impressed me last year, even though um, it really annoyed me. But um, you got to give this team credit; they really know how to play together. They understand goats. And they got the better of this matchup. Um, with Soul, like I said, um, it's con picking your spots of aggression better playing around fissure better because he's like he's the carry i mean he was playing absolutely great um but um they don't they don't really play around him that well the shot calling is shoddy at times um alt economy could definitely be better um and with soul i think it's a case of it's not really their meta um at this point they're now sitting at three and three they're playing london on sunday i believe or tomorrow um, they're going to take an L, I believe, in that matchup. Um, but it, it'll be close. They they could win. They definitely could. But um, I don't. I I just don't think they'll be able to pull that one off. So that's the series. Um, I yeah, this was really fun for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, obviously, it's going to be a long ass video. Um, so hopefully you are um, into that. If obviously if you're not. Um, this like little series will not be for you, but seriously, let me know what you think. Um, I had, I, I legitimately did have a blast with that. So hopefully if you guys enjoy it, hang around, um, jump in live next time. Um, that would be super cool. And we can look at another team, another series, um, and talk about what they're doing well, what they're doing wrong. And, um, Look for the prediction videos coming out very soon um, for the last week of Stage 1. Have a great couple of days, and I'll see you guys in the next one.